वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ए डैश थर्टी फोर सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर एंड दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर एट कम्बाइंड लोडिंग स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द कंट्रोल लीवर इज सब्जेक्टेड टू हॉरिजेंटल फोर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी पाउंड ऑन द हैंडल डिटरमाइन द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट ई एन एफ स्केच द रिजल्ट ऑन डिफरेंशियल एलिमेंट्स लोकेटेड एट ईच ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स द असेंबली इज पिन कनेक्टेड एट सी एंड एन अटैच टू केबल डी so from this figure you can see this is control lever that is subjected to 20 pound force and this point c is pin connected and this mechanism is connected with this cable at d so we have to find the state of stress at point e which you can see this is cut it and uh, this is point e and at f that is cross section on cross section we have been given f point is this one so let's start with the solution so first step is that uh, you can see that uh, this uh, wire this cable will exert a force on on the element which will be downward because you can see this force is in this direction which is causing the tension in this cable as a result cable exert force on this element in downward direction so what we will do is that we will draw the free body diagram member member cd and liver as free body diagram so let me draw it this will be like this is the liver where there is a 20 pounds force applied so distance of this liver from this point this is point c from this point c is given as 5 inch this is 5 inch and at point this is point d so at point d you will be having a cable force that will be acting downward let this is force p there so when you remove this pin supported so you will be having a reaction force in y direction let this is cy and in x direction this is cx and the distance between this point d and this point c this distance is you can see 0.75 plus 1.75 which is 2.75 so we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about point c must be equal to 0 in taking the counter clockwise moment as positive why we take moment about point c because it these two forces will pass through point c and it's producing no moment so only this force and this 20 new pound force will subjected to this moment so i will write first moment is 20 into 5 and this force 20 and perpendicular distance is this 5 and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so i will write minus 20 into 5 another force that is producing moment is p into perpendicular distance about point c is 2.75 and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus p into 2. Point. this is 2.50 not 75 this is 0.75 and 1.7 2.50 okay this is equal to 0 so minus 100 plus 2.50 times p is equal to 0 so 2.5 times 0 p will be equal to 100 so it means that p is equal to 40 pounds p will be 40 pounds 
now you have this piece so we will move toward our main problem is that first what we will do is that we will cut the section at this point and draw the free body diagram so this is the lever and this is its rod okay the lever is subjected to 20 pound force clear so when you cut it at this point so there will be a shear force v and there will be a movement in this direction this movement and this distance is you can see this distance is two inch two inch so by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all force along horizontal direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so minus v plus 20 is equal to zero so it means that shear force is equal to 20 pounds similarly the sum of let this point is point 1 so the sum of all movement about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so this is counterclockwise movement m minus this 20 into 2 which is producing clockwise movement so 20 into 2 is equal to 40 is uh, sorry their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that movement is also equal to 40 pounds into inch okay now you can see that if we remove this this force so that will also produce a movement clear so the, due to this movement there will be bending stress in this rod so again you can see that cross section is also given as the cross section is shown over here this is this is point e clear and this distance is given as 0.3 inch and this is 0.3 inch so if we take the neutral axis neutral axis will be half of it which is equal to 0 0.15 inch and this point e is this point clear so we know that uh, the bending stress at point e will be equal to m into c divided by i bending moment m is 40 c is distance from neutral axis till top which is 0 0.15 and we will find i so i for this square cross section is 1 over 12 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 power uh, bh cube cube so i will be equal to 0 0.675 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch power 4 so you can put the value 0 0.675 into 10 to the power minus 3 and when you solve this you will get sigma e is 8.89 ksi sigma e is equal to 8.89 ksi also you can see over here that this is the condition when you re remove this force so there will be a movement so it means that this will bend like this and point c is located over this so this portion this is point e this portion e is in tension this will be in compression and this will be in tension so this stress is tension stress also we will find the shear stress at point e so shear stress at point e is equal to v into q e divided by i into t and q e is equal to a dash into y dash bar so at uh, this is point e so you can see there is no area about it above it so this a dash will be equal to zero so it means that q e will be equal to zero since q e will be equal to zero so sharing stress theta e will be also equal to zero i will write since q e is equal to zero so this is the sharing stress at point E. 
so what if i draw the state of st stress on the element clear it will be like this sigma e is in tension clear so sigma e will be in tension okay so it will be like uh, eight point eight nine ksi that will be in tension this is the state of stress at point e shear stress is zero now what we will do is that we will move toward the second portion that to find the state of stress at point e so if we cut it over here and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this So this is point D where you have a force of 40 pound that is acting downward there. So when you cut it, you will be having a shear force in upward direction V and you will be having a moment like this. The distance between this point till this is 2 point, uh, sorry 0 0.75. Let me show you. So you can see that this is the distance. Uh, distance from this till this is 0 0.75 1.75 is this distance so we are taking 0 0.75 so we'll find this uh, moment sum of all moment about f uh, sum of all moment about let this is your y dash new x is y dash and this is your x dash so sum of all moment about y dash must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive. So minus 40 plus V is equal to zero. So V is equal to 40 pound. And moment, sum of all moments about, let this is 0.2. So moment about 0.2 is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So 40 into 0 0.57 is clockwise moment counterclockwise moment so it is positive minus this moment which is clockwise their sum must be equal to zero so 40 into 0 0.75 minus m is equal to zero so moment is equal to <coughs> 30 pound into inch now you have this moment and this shear force so we will move toward finding sigma f so sigma f is equal to m into c divided by i clear so moment is 30 okay and uh, we will find i for this the cross section is shown over here zero point this is the cross section if i draw it 0 0.25 and this height is 1 so let me draw it this is 0 0.25 and this is 1 inch 1 inch so this is the neutral axis so this will be 0 0.5 inch and again so 1 over 12 breadth is 0 0.25 and height is 1 inch so 1 cube so you will get i will be equal to 0 0.020833 inch power 4 so i will write divide by 0 0.020833 now you can see that this point f lies on this neutral axis so this will be the point f let me show you this is the point f and it lies with neutral axis so c is equal to zero so multiply by c so it means that bending stress is equal to zero at point f now what we'll do is that we'll find shear force so shear force at point f is equal to v into q f divided by i into t so v is this one 40 pound qf is equal to qf is equal to a dash 
into y dash bar so what is a dash so point c is this one so a dash will be this a dash this will be a dash which is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.25 and what is y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till mid of this section so this is y dash which is 0 0.25 okay so y dash is 0 0.25 inch this is qf so now you can put the values tf is equal to v v is 40 pound qf is 0 0.25 multiply by 0 0.25 multiply by 0 0.5 divide by i which is 0 0.020833 clear and thickness of this is 0 0.25 so when you solve this you will get the sharing stress at point f comes out to be 240 psi now we will draw the straight of stress for this point f so if you take this the element like this f there is no uh, normal or bending stress so only shear force so we will draw this shear force like 240 psi similarly at this side it will be like this so state of stress at point E is this one and state of stress at point F is this one. And that was all about this problem 8-34. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. All the uh, links of playlist of different chapters are available in the description box. So you can visit there and you can click on your desired playlist and can watch the videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.